Hi, I'm Gene Cavassis. We're going to try out this uh, Wagner spray gun. I'm not sure which model it is. I'll put that down in the description below. Now this is the Wagner Spray Tech Control Painter, the HVLP handheld paint sprayer. Man, that's a mouthful. I'll put a description and a link below. But it looks like it should do the trick and we're going to be shooting enamel. Then we take the, uh, the turbine Put it on, slide it on like that, and it goes down, and this little catch here locks it into place. And how do you turn it on? This switch here, you have an on-off here, and an on-off here. So it's, it's, it's a rocker, so you can turn it on and off from either side. We purchase Valspar anti-rust armor. They actually mix this to the color that he needed. So we're going to try this with our first uh, color. Now you'll want to thoroughly stir this paint. Now I'm thinking that probably the easiest thing is to try it unthinned first and just see how well it sprays because the less we thin it the better coverage we're going to get. Just go for it. Yeah, good one, good one. Mm, that's good. Now we're pouring it directly in, but if this is paint you've used before, I recommend a strainer with this. I'd say that thing is bulky. Now according to Wagner, the gun itself weighs about four and a quarter pounds, but by the time you throw probably another four to five pounds of paint, you're talking about a 9 to 10 pound spray gun. The directions are pretty straightforward of how to turn it on, how to set your pressure, the trigger, and even the direction that you set the head to start spraying the nozzle. Now we started spraying on the end of the trailer to test out how it was going. It was going really well and it's spraying about the width of four to five inches which is fine. Now it would spray wider if we had thinned the paint, but keep in mind, I don't think I want to thin this paint for how we're doing this. Um, we're able to cover the entire trailer with one coat. You could thin it and get a smoother spray, but you would have to do at least two coats. This is up to you, but I have to say, I'm really pretty impressed how the Wagner spray gun is able to push this paint out. It tells me that you could also do this with latex paint without any problem and stains would fly through this. Now, when it came to cleanup, I have to say the instructions completely intimidated me. They scared me to death. I thought this was going to be the biggest pain in the butt. But actually, cleaning the gun was really fairly simple. Just take it apart, and what I found was you pour the thinner into the tub or the, the bucket for the spray gun, put the parts in there, shake it up, and, you know, cleanup was really fairly simple. But my next question is, reassembling it seemed to be fairly simple, but I'm really curious to see, after we put the entire thing back together, how well will it spray the next color on there. This has always been a, a problem with the early model spray guns, but this one, well, I'm hoping for something better. Mm, that's pretty simple. That snaps on like that, and this, this allows you to turn it to which angle. This one goes up and down, something like side. that, and it goes side to side. This one here gives you a narrow field, and to turn this one gives you a wider field. And for our application, we were using the, the narrow. Down here, this is the amount of spray that you're going to have, starting at one and going all the way up to 12. We tried it at 12, but it seemed to splatter a lot more so we put it at six this nozzle here can be turned like that 
So when you put this, this in, then you have to cock it up. If you have it turned in the in front, then you have to hold it down. Otherwise you're gonna, you know, it'll run out of paint faster. The one thing to keep in mind when you do pull, turn this on, this thing sounds like a jet engine. Now I don't have a problem with that, but just to pre-warn you, you're definitely gonna want to learn that. The amount of paint was determined by the thickness and everything as to how much you cover. Like I said, we went heavy, but we intended to do that. It looks like it's splattering, but it actually laid down really well. We never had a run, and it had a bit of an orange peel texture, but for this trailer, that worked out perfectly. The sprayer worked out well. I wouldn't want to use it on a car or anything, but I mean, it, it really did the trick and gave us the consistency that we needed. It's got a slight orange peel texture to it, but it looks good yeah. on this. Yeah, it looks really good. So we used oil base enamel paint, so it's going to hold well. It causes a little more work on your cleanup, but it's well worth the difference. Yep. And uh, it just, the overspray with it was very low. Very minimal. So we we're really happy with that. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section down below. And if you want to look at some of the other videos, check these out. In the meantime, I'll see you soon.